you got to take what you like from a book and understand that a lot of what you hear from a book or from a YouTube video or from any teacher, any teaching is not necessarily going to resonate. I personally think this is one of the most difficult things about integrating law of attraction, law of assumption type advice is that so many of these teachers, in my experiences and opinions, have amazing stuff to share. And you might disagree with a lot of what they say at the same time. And that's very difficult for our rational kind of uh, Western educated minds, where it's like, this is right, this is wrong, very black and white, to accept the grayness of that. For instance, Neville, and so many of these other LOA teachers that we love, we were just talking about Richard Dots before we started recording. They say stuff that some of the stuff they say infuriates me uh, and I completely disagree with. And there's, there's many other non-LOA non teachers who are just more straight up spirituality where I don't have that kind of like resistance to what they're saying, yet I still love Neville. I still love Richard Dots. There's some, I, I'm so grateful for having them in my life. But I feel like LOA, one thing that's tough and what's, what, why people get stuck is they, they try to adopt everything a teacher says or a certain teaching. And it's not really that kind of thing. It's very pick and choose. This might kind of work for me. This might not. You know, I say in my book, Law of Attraction Simplified, uh, even, even the best LOA teachings, usually 80% of it is not going to be relevant to your situation. Any, any LOA book you read. I think you got to apply the 80-20 rule and usually more like the 95-5 rule where as eloquent and persuasive as these teachers are, like Neville, like some people think Abraham Hicks is, um, there's a good chance if you really get down to it, really look at the teaching and look at yourself and try to integrate it, that a very small percentage of what they're saying is actually relevant. This is why when people say all this nonsense, all these catchphrases about everyone's you pushed out, the vortex, et cetera, like there are these blanket truths it strikes me as just such absurdity because all the LOA teachers I love, I strongly disagree with them about certain points, strongly disagree with them. Uh, I just don't hear enough people talking about that. So I love to give spiels about it, which is why I thought I would start this, this session by mentioning that because I know we've got quite a few readers in here um, and it's tough. I still face that to, these, to this day uh, with, with teachings all the time. Joe Goldsmith, one of my favorite LOA teachers. I read Joe Goldsmith for the first time back in 2016. It was like, this guy's really interesting, but he is so pompous and full of shit and doing so much spiritual bypassing. I can't deal with this shit right now. And I put him down for five or six years. And then I picked him up a couple of years ago. And now I read him more than anybody. But he still triggers me a lot of the time. And so... It goes without saying that Marvin and I, a lot of shit we're going to say is, might, I don't know if it's going to trigger you. It's fine if it does, but you're going to disagree with. A lot of SP stuff you're going to disagree with. You got to trust yourself more than us, let alone any YouTuber you watch talking about this stuff. That's the point of uh, being curious and really exploring these ideas. And it's why like, when there is skepticism, I love that. I'm all about that. I, I encourage skepticism. And one great thing the devil said is test it. You know, these weren't a lot of these teachers, we like them because they were not dogmatists. They said, test it, see if it works for you. And honestly, Nev, if you test a lot of what Nev says, you're going to find it's maybe he's not, not relevant, not telling the truth for your situation.